Hello everyone. Today we are going to know about a new add-on for Magento 2 Marketplace and that is Marketplace Advanced Commission for Magento 2. Now by the help of this add-on, the admin can set commission for products, categories and seller categories. The admin can also set the commission rule. If the admin has enabled the commission rule, then the commission rule will be applied and the commission will be calculated on the basis of the rules which are set by the admin. And if the commission rule is disabled by the admin, then the highest priority will be given to the commission set on the product then on the categories. So now coming to the installation part, once you have downloaded the module from our store, then you have to unzip it and then you will be getting the module folder. Then click on the module folder, you will be getting the SRC folder. Again, you have to click on the SRC folder, then you will be getting the app folder. You have to upload the app folder into your Magento 2 root directory and then you are done with the installation part. For the more details about the installation, you can also check our user guide, which is this. So let's come to the admin panel and see how the admin can set commission. Now this is my admin panel. So first, you can just enable or disable the commission rule or whatever you feel as per your requirement. So you just have to follow the path, store, configuration. And then you will be getting marketplace advanced commission. So in the general setting, use commission rules. First, I will disable it and I will show you how you can set commission on product and category. So I will just disable it. So now you can see commission type and then you can set commission as per category. So it is percent and from the drop down you can select fixed or percent. So I have selected fixed, sorry. And then you will click here and then you will be having all the categories which are created by the admin. So what's new? I will set the commission as 10. Women, it's whatever you feel like you can just alter and see you have to save the new commission as per the categories and then you have to click here now you can also set commission for the sellers category you just have to go to marketplace management and manage seller now i will just Click on the seller link and you can see the detail will be opened. So you can see a tab called category commission. So this is the category commission per seller. So I will set the commission from here as well. And I can save the customer from here and the categories as per the commission will be saved. Now you can also apply commission by going to this product and category. You just have to go to the category and then you will see commission that goes to the admin. You have to enter here and then you have to save the category. And for the product also, you just have to go to the catalog You have to edit any product. And under the price section, you can set commission for product. So you can set commission per product from here. And you can save the configuration. Now this is all about setting commission per category per product and per seller's category. Now. I will show you what will happen when you will enable the commission rule. So when I will enable the commission rule, I will just save the configuration. And then I have to create any commission rule. So I will just go to marketplace management and manage commission rule. Here in the grid, you can see the existing commission rule. From here, you can select these commission rules. You can delete them.
and then you can add a new commission rule by clicking here. You can select the commission time as fixed or percent. You can select the price. And what will be the commission? And then you can save this config, this commission rule. And after saving, you can see the commission rule in the grid. From here, you can just edit or you can delete. Now let's move to the front end and see how the seller can see the commission of the admin and the seller's share. Now this is my front end and this is one of the product. So I will just add this product into the cart. And I will just check the cart and then I will go to the checkout. Now this is my checkout page. You can see the product. I can just select the shipping address and then based on it you can see the shipping methods will appear so i will select any shipping method and then i will just click here i will select the payment method and then i will place the order as you can see the order has been placed so i will just go to the seller's account will go to the order history now as per the commission rule you can see price starting from and ending and what is the commission 100 now you can see that the total price over here is $48 only and the $100 will go to the admin so negative value will appear so you can see total admin commission it is 100 and total vendor amount it is coming minus 52 why because you can see that 100 is greater than 48 so if you will just sum these two 100 minus 52 then 48 will appear so the admin will get 100 and the vendor it will get negative amount so now i will show you when the order value is more than 100 so that we can check the commission or i can add some other product as well i will add five and then i will add this five quantity into the cart So the order value, subtotal value is 225. I will click on checkout. I will select the payment method and I will place the order. Now you can see This is the total order amount. 100 will be the admin commission and the remaining will be 135 which will go to the seller.
So this is all about this module. If you have any doubt regarding this module, you can just raise a ticket at support.hipco.com.